Particle technology is that branch of science and engineering dealing with production and handling modification in size varying from nanometers to centimeters. In the new modern technology, many process has been developed. Hmm, let's see what has we designed for better process of weak flaw. This is the sketch of overall process system. Starting from filter, weight will pass through the blower. The powder will flow out from the hopper and pass through the pneumatic system. And lastly, to fluidize back for fluidization. What is hopper design? Hmm, hopper design is a short-term storage of raw materials, intermediates, and products in the form of particular solids. Problem interaction occur at the flow from the discharge orifice in the hopper or converging section beneath a storage vessel. First, design a storage vessel to ensure flow of the weed flour becomes smooth. Problem happen in hopper. First, choking in mass flow. Then, they tend to become funnel flow. The opening keep reducing. The powder begin to stuck. Thus, the process will stop. Flow pattern For mass flow, all the powder in a silo is in motion whenever any of it is drawn from the outlet. It can be said all solid is in motion during discharge. Funnel flow It occurs when the powder flows towards the outlet of a silo in a channel form within the powder itself. Thus, for weak flour, we choose funnel flow. Calculation There are two formula of hopper design. The first one is H theta. H theta is a factor determined by slope of hopper wall. The second one is a minimum outlet diameter. Properties of wheat flour The powder used is wheat flour. There's a flow index FF, then the effective angle of internal friction and kinematic angle of wall friction. There's a particle size, the moisture content, the bulk density, and the particle density. By using the graph of hopper flow factor, we know that the kinematic wall friction is 13.2, thus we get the value of theta is 36. The theta need to minus by 3 for safety margins. By using the formula of H theta, given the data of powder flow function, we can calculate limiting condition flow by using the formula. From plotting both data, we can get sigma critical from the intersection of limiting condition flow and powder flow function. Thus, we can get minimum outlet diameter which is 0.4 meter. Calculation of dimension. The height of silo we get from the heuristic of 3D equals to H. Thus, the height is 3.6 meter. While for the height of hopper, we use tangent theta. Thus, we get the height is 0.62. We get the diameter of silo is 1.2 meter. And the height of silo plus the height of hopper is equal to 4.2159. Here are again the sketch of our hopper and silo design. Let's continue with pneumatic transport. What is pneumatic transport? Pneumatic transport is the transport of particulate solids in the presence of gas through pipelines. Mode of transport is divided into two, first, dense phase, and the second, dilute phase. For dense phase, the minimum of air is delivered to the process with the solids. For the dilute phase, higher amount of air is delivered to the process with the solids. Now, this is the information regarding the solids and the gas used in the systems. And this is the information of part used in the system. A key parameter for successful operation of pneumatic conveying system is the minimum velocity required for particle entrapment, also known as the pickup velocity. Saltation velocity is the minimum velocity required to maintain solids in the dilute phase mode in a horizontal conveying line. On the other hand, choking velocity is the minimum velocity required to maintain solids in the dilute phase mode in a vertical conveying line.
Now let's go through the expression for the pressure drop. The expression of the pressure drop consists of 6 terms in it. And here is the nomenclature of the unknown terms. Now let's take a look at the horizontal pipe section. Pressure drop for horizontal pipe consists of 4 terms. Since sin theta equal to 0, therefore term 5 and 6 can be ignored. By using risk correlation, we can find the value of u salt. Don't forget to substitute all the values into the FP correlation. For horizontal pipe, the length chosen is 30 meter. Substitute all the values and we get the pressure of 5.56 kPa. Now let's take a look at the vertical pipe section. Pressure drop for vertical pipe consists of 4 terms. The terms 1 and 2 can be omitted as the gas and solids are already accelerated in the line. By taking Punwani correlation, we can find the value of u choking. But before that, here are the steps on how to determine the unknown parameters for the previous equation. For vertical pipe, the length of 10 meter is chosen and the pressure get is 0.144 kPa. Now, here come for the last part. Woohoo! Assume the pressure drop is equivalent to the pressure drop across 7.5 meter at vertical covering pipe and therefore we can get the value of pressure drop across the band. Therefore, the total pressure drop is approximately to 0.1 bar. In a conclusion, since our total pressure drop is not in the range of the industrial scale blower, we have met some recommendation. First, reduce the pipe diameter to achieve the scale within the range, and lastly, it is recommended to use centrifugal type of blower. Now let's continue to the fluidization system. What is fluidization? Fluidization is a process similar to liquefaction whereby granular material is converted from a static solid light state to a dynamic fluid light state. A fluidized bed reactor works when a gas flow is introduced through the bottom of a bed of solid particles. It will move upwards to the bed via the empty spaces between the particles. These are the advantages and disadvantages of fluidized bed. The Gildite classification graph is used to classify the powder based on the particle diameter and the relative density difference of particle and fluid. This table showing the characteristic of each group of powder. Entrainment is defined as ejection of particles from the surface of bubbling bed. Let's proceed to the designing of fluidized bed for wheat flour powder. This graph showing the particle distribution of wheat flour. These are the value of density of particle, rho p, density of bulk, rho b, density of fluid, rho f, and the viscosity of fluid, mu f. The values of particle size and volume in the table above are extracted from the previous graph. However, by referring to the journal, the desired particle size is 51 micrometer. Since the particle size is less than 100 micrometer, this equation is used to calculate the minimum fluidization velocity UMF. To calculate the value of terminal velocity VT, the equation of terminal velocity Reynolds number is used, where the value of RE can be obtained from the graph of CD RET squared and CD over RET versus terminal velocity Reynolds number, RET. Using this equation, we can get the value of CD RET squared is equal to 7.83. We get the value of RET equals to 0 0.25. Terminal velocity equals to 0 0.0810 meter per second. The equation shown is used to calculate the value of voidage. Since the value of RET is less than 0 0.3, we can use the equation shown to calculate the value of U0. Let's up is the height of the full pad. To calculate the height, we use the equation of transport disengagement height. To calculate the pressure drop, we use this equation. To calculate the 
chloride in of the fluid ice bed F, we can use the equation by assuming the diameter of the fluid ice bed is equal to 0.6 meter. Therefore, the fluoride in is equal to 1.6317 kg per second. Move on to the next part to calculate the rate of entrainment Ri. Firstly, we have to calculate the value of u naught squared over GDP times rho p squared. This is to know which equation that we can use to calculate the value of kin. To calculate ki, we have to use the equation shown. Using the value that we have calculated, we can get the value of ri. To calculate the flow rate out of the fluid ice bed q, we can use the equation of f minus ri. In conclusion, for all calculation that we have made, since the value of Vt is more than V0 and the rate of entrainment is too small, resulting no change in flow rate, fluidization is difficult to occur. Other than that, wheat flour is a group C powder. Back to the characteristic of a group C powder, it is cohesive and difficult to fluidize. It is recommended to install a vibrator or mixer to fluidize this type of powder. Figure 4 is showing the design of fluidized pen with a vibrator. Thank you! Don't forget to subscribe and like this video! Woohoo!